I didn't really think I had an urge to kill her. I just wanted her to stop. And um, what did you want to do to her? What did I want to do to her? Uh, just to have her stop and. Uh, but how would you do it? What did you think in your head about how you would do it? That's that's what we're trying to get at. When did you first think about treating your mom violently to get what you wanted her to do? Probably in fourth grade. Okay, there we go. Fourth. Fourth, fourth, fifth, and sixth was probably up to that grade. And, and what? What was in your mind that you wanted to do to get her to treat you a certain way? What did you want to do to your mom here? Uh, I wanted her to uh, stop um, being angry at me for not knowing how to... Uh, but she wasn't stopping. No, she wasn't stopping. Was she? No. She kept picking at you, she picking. belittling you. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing you. I mean, that was pretty clear from yesterday. Mm -hmm. It happened in school too, so I had. So what? Did, what was your way of retaliating against her in your mind? What, what were you thinking to do to your mom? Um, I don't know. If I was thinking of uh, hurting her. I just wanted her to stop and uh, let, me, let me alone. Um, Angry at uh, her for uh, pushing and pushing and pushing on me to to remember, and I just couldn't remember, and I just wanted her to stop. Uh, but she didn't. But she didn't know. She didn't stop. So somewhere in the fourth or fifth grade, that sense of helplessness that you had not get being able to get her to stop. Mm -hmm would very likely have pr to produce thoughts of taking back some power and control over your mom to get the bitch to shut up. I mean, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but Gary, that's what we hear. And that's mm -hmm. what one of the things we're looking to get a better understanding of. During, during that thing, I usually took it out on uh, 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 other things instead of hurting her, uh, uh, um, living things, living things, killing, killing animals. Okay. Killing animals. Um, I stabbed a kid one time. Okay. Just stabbed a kid with a knife. Tell me about that. Um, down by uh, Chinook, where I used to go to school, and um, the boy was playing. I stabbed him in the side, and I didn't kill him. And um, uh, I think it must have been about. Sixth grade, I think it was uh, seventh grade, and I, I uh, that was at some time I was you know, breaking out windows, throwing throwing rocks at windows at school. Not interested in that. That's what I took my aggression on. I couldn't take it on my mom. I had to take it on my animals and how many animals kids. did you kill? I, wanted, I killed a lot of birds, but uh, one cat suffocated in an uh, ice chest, mm -hmm. and uh, shot uh, babies at uh, dogs yeah. and to hurt them, and um, threw, uh, well, threw rocks at my brother about that time I think I was getting out of that though. You couldn't take your aggression down on your mom. No, I couldn't. But you could think about it. I could think about it and... and What'd you think? 
I thought of, uh, about hurting her, uh, so she sh shut up and uh, leave me alone. And then how did you think about hurting your mom? Killing her. And how would you do that? I thought uh, with my hands, or uh, I didn't have no guns or anything, or so I didn't. It had to have been uh, hands or. Uh, um, and then after she was dead, what were you going to do in your head? In my head, I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just, just, um, just wanted her to stop. One time there, they were going to put me in a, a, a special school. I didn't want that. My dad and my mom were arguing about it all the time. And it was uh, for retarded people, and I didn't, wasn't retarded, I don't think. So I'd, I was mad at them for wanting to put me away from other kids. And wanting to hurt her. And, uh, And it uh, hurt her bad. What does that mean, hurt her bad? Help me to understand that. Just uh, beat her up so she wouldn't leave me alone. And How would you do that in your head? My hands. Beat her up with my hands. Uh, maybe use a knife. And what would you do with the knife? I'd probably stab her with it. Um, she was a, a big problem I had. I mean, I, there was, um, my dad wasn't around that much. He was working all the time, and she was the one that was in control, and she was constantly trying to get me to uh, do better in school, and, and I, I just couldn't do better. I wanted to have her stop, and the only way was to to kill her, to hurt her bad. Help me explain, help me understand the knife. Well, the knives are in the drawer. That would be, I use a knife on that, stab that boy, and I'd use, use a knife on her if I wanted to. It's a, a way of killing. And, and okay, walk me through what you were going to do with the knife in your head to your mother? Uh, cut her throat. So she wouldn't, wouldn't uh, stop uh, 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 degrading me and uh, and putting me in the, uh, I, I, I couldn't remember things, and that was the only way I could think of hurting her to get her to stop. When, when did you think about having sex with your mother? When, um, 14 or 15, I think. Tell me about that, it's about the same time frame. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd see her out uh, sunbathing and uh, I'd feel that she, you know, she'd be good to have, have sex with, and, but she, she's my mother and I'd never, you know, never, uh, never really She's the only woman in in my life, other than you know, neighbor one girls. But uh, so to, uh, she, I get uh, fantasies of having sex with her and and uh, wanting wanting to, but um, being restricted on that part. Explain to me fantasies and restricted on that part. Your well, words. because if she's my mother. She, it's not right for her having sex with your mother and 
she was she was always in in, in uh, two pieces, and and, uh, and she'd come off work, she'd go in the backyard. So it was a, it was inviting to fantasize with her. She was there sunbathing and tan, and uh, it was it was a uh, something that really uh, intrigued me. It was all women like this. Uh, I, I, they're they're different, and they're uh, it, it rouse me to uh, I get a, a hard on sometimes, mm -hmm. and it was it was the only time I had an opposite sex in class. Everybody's clothes and stuff like that. This was a woman that was sometimes uh, you know laying down with no no bra on. I mean you couldn't see anything but bare skin. Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a turn on in a way, and I enjoyed looking out the window at her when she wasn't watching. Did mom enjoy that? She didn't even know I was there. No, she, she was down just doing, just sunbathing, and then she'd turn over. And before she turned over, she always fastened her bra and uh, turned over and. Maybe a little bit up here to show because you no tan marks, and I uh, I, st I stared and looked out all the time. And had your fantasies. I had a fantasy. Yes. It makes sense to me. It makes mm -hmm. sense that you would have a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Need to have you tell me what that if, at that what that was. Just a fantasy of wanting to uh, have sex, t touch her, feel her body, um, have her show me how to have sex. Because um, mothers teach you a lot of things, you know. It's just, uh, it's just a fantasy. It's something she wouldn't do it, but it's. What would in your fantasy? What would your mom have you do to her? Have me do to her. Uh, my fantasy would be to. Uh, and explore to uh, find the different things what a woman has, uh, uh, girls have that guys don't have. Show me how to have sex, good sex. Uh, what, you know, what, what the woman wants and uh, feel every bit of her body to, to uh, enjoy a, a, a woman and have sex with her. But at the same time in your life, and listen carefully to this, mm -hmm. um, at the same time in your life, you also hate your mom for what she's doing to you. Yes. So how are those thoughts and fantasies colliding together? Because we know that that happens. Mm -hmm. um, how are they colliding together in your head? And colliding together in my head when, when she was just laying down there, she wasn't. She was more of a sex object than a than a mother, and more of the fantasies of having sex with her and nothing to have and uh, to kill her. Two different uh, things. When she was always she, doc, Dr. Objective Clyde, when she's down there, she's a, a sex fantasy, sex object. When she's up there uh, trying to get me to read, and she's uh, uh, the other side of uh, uh, something, uh, something I hated. I loved the part of her being a sex object, but I didn't like the part of her being a mother and uh, working with me as trying to help me uh, in reading and and. I like the sex part better than I like the the mother that was always trying to hurt, uh, belittle me, and because uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't learning.